I'm out here working on the golf course today. It's kind of a crummy day and I'm losing my voice, but there's a lot of really neat animals out here, so I decided to make a video just to show you guys. That's why we call them pterodactyls. Nice. All these courses are beautifully maintained with loads of landscaping, but in between the landscaping and the fairways are these wetland buffer zones. And these zones are incredibly important for a couple of reasons. One, they provide a nice habitat for the animals that live on the golf course, but they also help filter excess nutrients and waste out of the environment. It takes a lot of fertilizer and chemicals to keep these golf courses looking beautiful and when it rains like it often does in Florida a lot of those excess fertilizers and chemicals get washed away and they get washed into these wetland buffer zones where they can be absorbed by the plants and filtered by the sediments there instead of going into our groundwater or even worse getting washed into the ocean where they can cause other problems like intensifying red tide. Look at these chicken nuggets! So as sandhill cranes, both the parents help raise the chicks. The parents work real hard to find food and give it to the little babies. Just like that. I found these lovely little things. These are alligator tracks. So Florida is famous for having alligators on their golf courses. And a lot of people ask me, what's the best thing to do to stay safe around alligators? And really, they will just leave you alone as long as you don't try to touch them or harass them in any way. They want nothing to do with people, so they're just gonna sit there and do their own thing. And if you get close enough, <laughs> they'll just skedaddle. Well, that's it for my day. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like what you see, check out some other videos, and if you really like what you see, subscribe to my channel.